You know about it. F. What? Mary Kill. <laughs> okay, go. You got another one? Yeah. Okay. Malayalam edition. Oh, okay. Fafa. Okay. Mohanlal. Mm-hmm. Subin. Hmm. Kind of the same as the other one that you did. You marry Fafa? No, I mean you, no, have, no, no. you have sex with Fafa? No, 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 no. It's like the choices I'm making. I, I would marry Mahanal. Okay. And I would. Because he's cuddly. Yeah, cuddly and protective, and mm-hmm. would kick people's butts for me. And then Subin was the one I'd roll in the hay with. And okay. Fafa, just because I would love to watch the, the dramatic entity, he would be such a great. He'd give me a thespianatic death. I could never kill Fafa. Well, that's your choice. I'd well, marry, those three, I'd you marry, marry Fafa. Fafa. Okay, well, what about the other two? I know what you're going to say. You're going to go for the more cushion, the better the pushing. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid rank shoot. So Corbin, I'm Rick. <laughs> Let us know who you would F marry yeah. and kill. Come on. Uh, I don't know why I just did all these. <laughs> it's just everything today. Today we got a um, a, a food video. Yay! This, this, this couple explores Kerala street food. Okay, cool. Um, Have we ever done a Kerala street food? I know we've done Kerala food. Yeah. I just don't know that don't we've know done you... Kerala street food. No idea. Um, I would love to have some though. Yeah. Ugh. Heck yeah. Can't wait till we can go to Kerala. That'd yeah. Be so amazing. Here we go. Can't wait to go back to India. Yeah. Period. Hello everyone from the beautiful state of Kerala and in India. Now, as soon as we got here, we got a lot of requests to try certain foods around here. Ooh. And as you dosa? know, oh, you dosa. find out and discover a lot of local culture through the food that they eat. So our first video of this Kerala series is going to be a food tour. It's a first for me. It's a first for you. Let's see what they've got. is a traditional juice from this South Indian state and it is called Kuluki Sarba. Kuluki means shaken and Sarba means juice. It is a way of just welcoming us here and getting us to cool down, freshen down before we go and start filling up. Let's go. Oh, he just broke the ice, like the ice in his hand. What the crap was that? It's Tom Cruise and cocktail. <laughs> Dang. A lot of skill. Ooh! So this Tip is that man. Sada cookie sherbet. It has got uh, lemon, sugar syrup, uh, chia seeds, and a lot of ice. So and it's like it a looks kind of delicious. like a lemonade. It looks like yeah. Right. Looks like it has fish eggs in it. Oh wow! Those are the seeds. Those are the seeds so that are in this drink. I get. The they're so good. They're squishy. It is like boba? No, 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 no. Different. Their version of a chocolate shake. And and it, but and it is kind of like a fish egg. Oh! What the? Oh. Definitely tip that man. I did that to your mother last night. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Look at the bubbling. <laughs> I like her headdress. You're a master at your craft. You're very good. Very good. That was incredible. Tip that. Love it. Great way to start. I'm cool. I'm centered. I'm focused. She's on to the next stop. She's so I'm like told the that the most popular street food in all of Kerala is something called payam pun, which is essentially a banana fritter. It's something oh. you know, and it's the most popular thing here. I have to try it. So we've come to the streets of Kerala. We're gonna try this thing. Oh, I bet this is gonna be amazing. Thank you so much. All right. So here Especially if have, it's warm. As you can see, you can get a close up of that. The banana fritter. The most oh, popular street food. I bet that's going to be amazing. Mm. 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 
Oh. I can practically smell you it. You can see the banana uh, caramelized from the uh, inside. It's gorgeous. Uh, oh. Oh. Almost looks like fried fish a little bit. I just got a really crispy part and it was... Now we're gonna try what they call is the second most popular street food in Kerala, and it's something called sugin. And sugin is essentially uh, sugar cane, or they call it jaggery, that is uh, put jaggery, into a yeah. ball and deep fried. I mean, sugar deep fried. Whoa! I can't really go wrong with that. Deep so. fried jaggery. Uh, yeah, uh, Babe. Uru, uh, sugin. Deep yeah. fried jaggery. Have you ever had that? He knew before I even asked. <laughs> like, I know exactly what you want. Probably heard us filming over there. You can see the printer in the bathroom and it looks that sounds dark sweet. on the inside, but the only way to really know what this is or what it's like is to actually indulge. So we're going to try one. Uh, Bismillah. Oh, why? Wow. It's like <laughs> sweet lentils put into a ball covered with batter. Mm -hmm. Dang. Now it's yummy. Deep fried jaggery. So we're taking a short break on our food tour and I needed a soft drink. Thumbs up! Something to cool me off. I had to do it the local way. I had to taste the thunder. Thumbs up. Yeah! Another staple of Kerala is something called perakya, which is a guava. It's something that people come oh. and just either get it cut up on the side of the street, they either put chili powder, and I think we're getting ours with salt. So, you know, healthy guava. Mexican culture has something similar. Similar. very similar. There's a lot of similarities. <laughs> Talked about that before, before and it's Ronnie pointed that out. A lot of similarities between tried. Mexican Our foods and culture. And apparently you can eat it with the skin with the, the same with place, everything. Well, Geographically, guava yeah. with chili powder on top. Here we go. Bismillah. Oh. Oh, that's got a kick to it. She's loving it. She's just going. Yeah! She's like ignoring the chili powder like it doesn't exist. I don't know how she does it, but... Oh, wow. It's on a... It's all here! It's all in here! It's so hot! <laughs> That's spicy, man. Oh, wow. Oh, now it's in my throat. Okay. She's just... Delicious. She's just killing definitely it. definitely a lot more spice than I'm used to. It's like, yep. It's all good. Yeah, I wouldn't be partaking in that one. It says you and me right here. It happened a few times like in Rajasthan. I know. He's having an existential crisis. Ooh, pomegranate. Delicious. So we are at Pai Dosa right now, and we're about to try one of the major dishes of Kerala. So what a dosa is, is uh, a cooked, thin-layered uh, rice batter. And don't find any good dosas here. Dish here. And what they do is, while it is cooking, they start adding ingredients in there. You can have potato bhaji, onions, oh. quail eggs, all these different things depending on what you want. Quail eggs? Anything based on your Fruit preferences. Rice. And then around that, they put oh various my sauces stars. and chutneys for my you to dip breakfast. in. So we're trying one of the classic ones. I think ours has got potato because we like that. Yes! And quail eggs and oh. uh, a bunch of different Potato uh, dosa and filter coffee. So what happens here, here you've got one of the dosas. You make some filter coffee again. And it is, uh, I have a machine for it. You all the filling in there. You do? I have the filter um, coffee. And what you do is simply dip oh. one of the sauces and enjoy. Bismillah. I made it on the, uh, my channel once. Oh, I can go for that right now. Any day of the week, any time of day. Especially in the morning, man. And she is completely silent right now. I don't want to interrupt her process. You know, on holiday, you don't get calories, right? Right? They don't They don't count. They don't count. Oh, wow. my jeans. I like her. in here would be complete without a classic chai and we are here at the Sri Balaji coffee house to try some classic Kerala chai. This uh, tea shop is pretty famous it's run by an elderly couple Mohana and Vijayan who are famous because they traveled around to countries all over the world I think it was something like 25 countries and introducing their culture which I think is how you build bridges right? The way they make chai basically from what I know is Hot milk, very strong tea, loose leaf tea, sugar, a little pinch of water, then you drink and enjoy. 
kind of like um, you miss you know ginger. When they say couple goals and cardamom. Yeah, <laughs> but there's different. There's <laughs> different kinds. They don't always have the cardamom. Ginger and working. Ginger's a pretty interesting part. Side by side, yeah. every day, travel the world together. Even in their old age, you see so much, you know, love for each other. It's beautiful. So here we are, chai the too. classic chai. Once again, we need a chai water around the world. <laughs> I can't tell you how many places we go by and Johnny's like, we could, we could set up a chai stand right there. I'm like, yes, we could. I'm never coming home. On to the next stop. See you there. Okay, let's go try. Paraka B. Thank you. I understood me. So now it is time for dinner and we are at a traditional tatu kada, which are basically roadside shacks for a classic Kerala dinner. And that is ああ、そう、これがパンパンです。ゴーテイスでパンパンです。ディーウェイとエンドデイ。ありがとうございます。パラタビ。いや、ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。
good. It's not as good as that one. Yeah. But it's a it's a it's a grocery store. Cool. By itself. Yeah. You wait soon. in case you it's want where to. Where we get our. It's where we get our tea. It's where we get our milk. They have some pretty good our, chai at that one too. Yeah. We get our and the stuff that we take at home. We get our incense. We get our thumbs up. We get our biscuits. We get our. Maybe next time we film, I'll, I'll have my wife make some chai. Yeah. But I'll oh. have her lessen the. Uh, However, lessen the uh, immediately smiling. However, lessen the ginger, because I remember you guys don't like as much ginger as she did. Oh. Okay with ginger? She no, no, she ginger. she could literally have the entire thing just taste like ginger to drink it. She could. She I probably could. And loves and Johnny ginger. loves <laughs> ginger. Um, sometimes it's like really spicy for me because sometimes ginger can be spicy. It can be spicy. Like if you put too much too in much it. in it can absolutely be spicy. Yes, I'm white as shit. Uh, <laughs> let us know what other food videos we can react to. Uh, this was great. Oh, that was, I'm so hungry now. Let us know down below. <laughs>